New details this morning about the alleged involvement of U.N. aid workers in Hamas's October 7th rampage. Several sources telling ABC News that Israel sent a dossier to multiple governments with evidence it claims shows employees of UNRWA, the largest aid provider to the Palestinians, participated in the attack, saying one of them was involved in a massacre in Kibbutz Be'eri, another in kidnapping, and another distributed ammunition and helped bring the body of a dead Israeli soldier into Gaza. About 1,200 Israelis were killed on October 7th. The U.N. has not denied the claims and said it has fired several employees over the allegations and vowed to investigate. But 10 countries have said they suspended funding for the agency, which provides aid to up to 2 million Gazans, many of whom continue to be caught up in intense fighting in the southern Gazan city of Han Yunis. Over the weekend, with Israel fending off allegations of genocide at the International Court of Justice, the IDF taking us into Khan Yunis, our footage checked for operational security. So it sounds like just on the other side of that ridge over there, there is a gun battle of some sort. Brigadier General Dan Goldfuss, who commands Israeli forces in all of southern Gaza, showing us where they say Hamas used this cemetery and the mosque beyond for its tunnels. The IDF bulldozing much of the cemetery. What do you do with the bodies if you dig them up? We don't dig the bodies out. How do you know you haven't dug up bodies? Uh, if we see the bodies, we'll put them aside. We'll move them aside. I mean, are you concerned, given what just happened in the ICJ, that you're going to be accused of a war crime because you're digging up a cemetery? I'm not digging out a cemetery. I'm digging up a military compound. The IDF leading us through the tunnels beneath the cemetery to a bunker with steel posts and Hamas offices. Inside, we saw this detailed aerial map of Gaza's border with Israel. And so when you see, as the other day, that the ICJ is asking Israel to prevent acts of genocide, how does that sit with you? I urge them to come and see and understand what genocide is and to see that there is no genocide over here. And what I'm doing here is defending my state and my civilians to my orders. And back to those ceasefire negotiations. Israel's Prime Minister Netanyahu has been under enormous pressure to bring the hostages home. He's now calling those talks constructive. But Hamas issuing a statement a short time ago saying that it will only release hostages once Israel ends the war and fully withdraws from the Gaza Strip. So clearly some daylight still between the two sides. Matt Gutman, ABC News, Tel Aviv, Israel.